hello people thanks for coming into my video and this is another video and where i am going to paint a beautiful cityscape i was very excited because i have never done it before so let's enjoy my painting guys and I'll leave your comment that whether i have justified the uh, city of london which i'm gonna paint now and so guys uh, let's see how it turns out to be do not forget to like share and subscribe if you really like it so guys it is normally said that generous people you know are the happier people and so be generous and subscribe hona chahiye please 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 this is my humble request i'm putting in a lot of effort uh, beside my work uh, for this and so i need some encouragement if you really think that you uh, got entertained or you got helped or you got some of my tips uh, which is which i'll keep giving uh, uh, throughout the video so don't uh, skip out the video guys so let's move on to the canvas Welcome to my canvas all of you and this video is all about uh, a cityscape which I have already you know told in my introduction and here I am uh, using ultramarine blue and white with very very less water guys it's hardly had you know 5% of water I'm using because the sky always I'm whenever I'm using the uh, or whenever I'm painting the background I don't use uh, much of water because I just use little bit of water to maintain the viscosity otherwise it will not the brush will not move through the canvas and the canvas which I'm using is a canvas roll and you can see on the top uh, of the board I have actually you know stuck it with the masking tape and if you don't know about the masking tape just go and you know check uh, in my description box i have already put the link on the description box you can go and buy from them you can go to amazon or you can just click masking tape you will get it and uh, it will cost you around 400 rupees guys but you know it will last you for uh, let's just say uh, um, 50 60 painting for me it is every you know it lasts for three months or four months because by that time i, I usually finish around 50 60 painting so here it's an important thing whatever you are using uh, whatever technique you are using and how you are using you know matters less than the uh, duration of practice so guys always if you are actively doing a paint doing painting i can assure you the you know improvement for sure so guys here uh, as you can see i am trying to uh, make the top of the sky a little bit darker blue where i have, I have used the pure ultramarine blue and as i know gradually when i am coming down i have started using white and then more white then more white then i leave the paper white uh, here I tried to leave the paper white but the blue came little bit further the uh, sky blue came so I could not maintain the paper white but paper white is the whitest guys so it is same as the titanium white so always uh, be wise don't waste your paint too much try to use the titanium white uh, sorry uh, the paper white whenever possible if not you can go ahead with the titanium white So and one more thing as I have primed in the beginning the canvas because this is a canvas roll canvas roll though it comes primed but still you have to prime once again with the gesso so if you are unaware of what is gesso which uh, you know you use before you even start the painting just to you know smooth just to smooth out the canvas otherwise the color will not stick to the canvas properly so you will have a hard hard time dragging your brush along the canvas uh, i have made one video over gesso 
so if you want to understand what is jso you can just go and check out my uh, video or in the youtube we will have plenty one so you can just find out from there as well as i have mentioned that cityscape i have uh, this is something i have never done it before so i you know know there are a lot of you know hindrance which i can find like okay this is not right this is not uh, you know and the technique may not be right or something but so far so good i was anticipating that i'll have a hard time but so far really so good so here i'm um, under the big bend or below the big bend i wanted to have really really dark uh, color and then the the roads to come come out really bright because the because of the street light the big bend is my focal point so the more white the road will be or more bright the road will be the big bend will come out more Uh, you know dark and more uh, you know uh, it will stand still and it will stand out basically in the in the entire painting so guys always whenever you are doing the road always use the crimson red blue and black this combination works like magic and whenever required you can just use the uh, uh, titanium white to you know make the highlight but always try to use crimson red then ultramarine blue or prussian blue whatever ultra i think ultramarine works better because that blue is and red is both has to come out so guys the yellow which i am using i am using with the combination uh, uh, first uh, with the combination of red yellow and white for the light uh street lights and then gradually i will mix more and more white gradually as soon as i am going towards the center of the light i will go more highlight and you know in the center it will be really you know it will be titanium white to reflect the light whenever you are uh, trying to do the the marking of the road uh, i recommend you should use a ruler because ruler gives you the exact straight line and that's what i'm using so normally whenever i was doing the big bend i did not do it because in vertical lines i am more comfortable to do exact straight but in these kind of line i am comfortable but i need the exact straight line to make it look like this is a uh this is a road so so that's why i am using 
द मोर फ्रंट पोर्सन विल बी मोर ब्राइटर इवन दो इट इज नाउ गेटिंग डार्क बट बिकॉज दे आर यूजिंग सम सम कलर विच इज रियली ब्राइट इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड द लाइन वेर यू नो ट्राफिक रूल्स आर यू नो मेनटेन सो दैट्स वाई दे इट इज आर्टिफिशियल कलर सो इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर इट इज इवनिंग और यू नो डे टाइम इवन इन द नाइट ऑल्सो इट फ्लैशेस आउट बिकॉज यू नो इवन आई हैव बीन टू लंडन आई हैव सीन दैट दिस दिस योलो मार्किंग ऑन द साइड इट इट एक्चुअली यू नो ग्लीटर्स इन द नाइट बिकॉज इन इंडिया ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द रोड्स यू विल फाइंड इट इन द हाईवेज इट ग्लीटर्स सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव यू नो पुट दैट दैट मच ऑफ ब्राइट कलर as i am trying to portray the lights and the rays and you can see always whenever you are doing the rays do it with the uh, uh, do it with the paint without water and try to get a strong brush and which will hold the color and do it very very slowly do not go rush because it's a it's a and the color uh, is without water because once you try to wipe it the acrylic color then it will be a mess again so please go very slow because you have only one chance you can again you know uh, put some water and you can you know wipe it out but um, it will be a hard work so for me it is very very mandatory so guys one thing if you are doing any mistake Uh, don't worry in acrylic color what happens is you can actually put little bit of water if the background is already dried then that background will not come out only the paint which you have applied recently and it is still not dried out will come out if you apply little bit of water and with a clean cloth you just rub it very very slowly don't apply too much of pressure and it will come out so guys so far i i am very confident that this painting is going to come out clean and going to come out as i have expected so i cannot expect more than this because uh, this it is going to be something very very new for me since i uh, have worked in london for you know, more than 6 years so i actually have been to this place uh, big pen you know near this place there were uh, you know from here if if you go straight towards the big pen uh, keeping the big pen on the left you go straight and then there is a uh, you know tube station after that there will be a stairs going down there is a tube station i forgot the name of the tube station it's most probably canary wharf or something and from there you can you know connect to the tube and just opposite of this you can see the tower bridge you can a tower bridge you can see london bridge is a very nice place so i always wanted to paint this so now 
the dream came true <laughs> Finally I have done this after 7 years of my first arrival to this place. feeling really happy that it came out really well guys so you guys should try with me so try this you don't have to you know exactly copy me you can just take some of the tips and you can do it on your own style and i'll be really happy if you can you know send it back after you finish it so i'll be really glad and i'll i'm sure i will you know look at it so i'll also uh, i have also put down my email id so there you can just you know scan your painting and you can send it to me i'll be more than happy to have a look at it and if it is really good i can even give a shout out uh, in my channel on my next video or so so guys uh, thank you i have given a lot of love so far and i'll be looking forward to see you again in my next video and this is tathagata here signing off have a good day